top three places that Tom Brady could realistically sign that is not in Tampa Bay. And these are all very fantasy friendly offenses and that starts with none other than where his hometown team is from at the San Francisco 49ers. I would absolutely love to see Tom Brady in a 49ers uniform, although it would be bad for the NFL. It would be great for fantasy purposes, not only for Tom Brady, but for everyone else in the offense. I mean, first of all, we all know they have Christian McCaffrey, Brandon Ayuk, George Kittle, Debo Samuel, and all of those guys are under 30 years old. But more importantly, Christian McCaffrey this year was a top three running back. George Kittle was a top three tight end. And both Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel have finished top 15 as wide receivers the last two years. And their offensive line was a top 10 team this year, according to Sharp Football. On top of a top tier defense, I think this would be a perfect place for Tom Brady to sign to both win a championship as the 49ers are in the NFC Championship with Brock Purdy at quarterback. Just imagine if they had TB12. But ultimately, Tom Brady only elevates players around him. And just think of how good this fantasy offense could be if he had some of these weapons like Christian McCaffrey, IU Kittle, and Debo Samuel. I think that would even be better than what he had with the Buccaneers. He also would have one of the most innovative coaches in the NFL with Kyle Shanahan, and I think this would be a perfect fit for him, both for fantasy and for real life. Another team that you know has rumored that he could have signed with before he signed with Tampa Bay was the Raiders. And the Raiders are also a team that is just loaded at every single position. Josh Jacobs is the top three running back this past year. Devontae Adams was top three. And Darren Waller has two top three finishes in his career. And on top of all that, without the fact that they have Darren Waller and Devontae Adams and Josh Jacobs, Hunter Renfro is actually a wide receiver one last year in fantasy football. That is crazy to believe. And, you know, Tom Brady obviously loves his, you know, hard work, high motor slot receivers. But more than all the pieces on the offense with the Raiders, Tom Brady would have Josh McDaniels, who is Brady's offensive coordinator for 13 of his NFL seasons. And... In his last eight seasons with McDaniels at his offensive coordinator, he was a top 12 QB in seven of those eight full seasons, and he's been a top 12 quarterback the last three years in Tampa Bay. This Raiders team also had the second worst defense in the league this year, which could be more throwing the ball, more time on the field for Tom Brady, who has an elite weapon at every single position. I think the Raiders are a very underrated team that should definitely be looking to sign him, and I don't think that McDaniels' connection is for naught. But I think probably the most realistic team, dare I say, that he would go to is the Miami Dolphins. And, and hear me out for a second before why I say realistic. And for one, it's the fact that it would not be a far move from where he is now. Tom Brady had spoke about in interviews before that the reason that he didn't want to go out west as much is the fact that his son Jack lives in New York. And that means that being on the East Coast is a lot easier to see him than if he was somewhere like Las Vegas or in San Francisco that's a lot farther from his kids, especially if his younger kids right now still continue to live in and around the Tampa Bay area. Miami would be a perfect spot because it's both distance-wise, but it would also be a great spot fantasy-wise because we don't know what to his career is going to hold. It seemed like he's going to come back next year, but you know if they don't believe in his health and his concussions, why not you know invest in someone like Tom Brady? where he'd be in an offense where both Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddell are two of the fastest wide receivers in the NFL, but they were also top eight fantasy wide receivers. And he has probably one of the best coaches schematically in the NFL and Mike McDaniel that has made Tua in this offense look really, really good. Just imagine if you had Tom Brady in it, you know, it'd be an off opportunity to get some revenge against the Patriots in an interdivisional team. It's not far from where he lives. There's also no state income tax in Florida, which would be a reason for staying there if he already enjoys Florida and he feels like it's good for business. So both for professionally and for his family, the Miami Dolphins make a lot of sense. Would the Miami Dolphins, you know, give up someone like Tua or, you know, be willing to let Tom Brady come in for a year or two, probably max, and take over the quarterback position? Who knows? But ultimately, I think these are the three teams that are most likely that Brady signs with if he does not retire. Personally, I think he's playing, but I'm excited to see how it plays out. But who do you think Tom Brady is going to go to? Put it down in the comments. Let us know. And don't forget to subscribe to Football Guys and turn those bell notifications on for videos coming out each and every single day in the offseason.